Welcome to a, a new episode of a podcast. Yeah. A podcast. A podcast. A, I, we gotta come to, to terms on that, and it's gotta be a podcast. A. Not a podcast. Not a. It's gonna be a podcast. A this podcast. way it's, you know, more tightly, but still works with the stupid fucking hack joke that we're gonna drive into the ground. A underline. Well, that's why I did that. Because visually, that joke sucks. <laughs> that's so I put the underscore in there. Yeah. Because uh, visually, that joke sucks. Yeah. It's much better with the underscore to look at the word. Oh, yeah. You had to. It, it, yeah, it, to make it a title. To. to make it a tight thing. Yeah, I wasn't even 100% sure you did, but I assumed you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The underscore, yeah. It, it's got to happen. Yeah. That's cool. Makes it a tight thing. Makes it a title. Make and it makes it a single thing. Now, if you notice, both my podcasts are a single word title, mm. and you know why. And we'll leave it at that. Yes, I do. All right. See how that is. Hey, a, I'm in the know. It's, I don't know. It might be less of a name, is more of a logo, or both. Hmm. Mm. All right. Mm. The tree just keeps growing. It does. I'm right. a genius. I'm telling yeah. you. And someday, somebody else besides me is going to believe that. <laughs> I'm telling you. I will convince them. I hope I'm still around for it. <laughs> well, yeah, I hope so, too. I'm going to need you to help me lie to them. Uh, to be honest with our loyal listeners here on a podcast... Uh, the podcast that is its that is its like official AKC name. By the way, what? Wait, wait, wait. It's wait, wait. a podcast, right? A underscore podcast. Gotcha. Colon the podcast. What? Sometimes it co- because sometimes I don't want the joke at all. Ooh. I want people to just look at it and go, okay, oh. I get where he was going with that without having to figure it out. Mm. And then the description was. And it a was podcast so easy. that's just a podcast. And it was so easy that I can't believe no one else figured it out. I know, dude. God, man. Podcast world. You guys should be ashamed Where of yourself. Where were you going? <laughs> <laughs> and we've come up with like three more. <laughs> I know. We're offering to sell them. Just contact yeah, us. Yeah, I can't make this podcast. <laughs> we got great names. We're going to license them out, so... <laughs> <laughs> With my two shows, my big audio project that I'm working on, my big writing project that I'm working on, uh, my new responsibilities with ROC Podcasts, my two children, and my full-time job, hmm. I'm busy. Hmm. Did you sleep last night? No. Well, yes. <laughs> I was going there, and I got distracted again. <laughs> Fuck, this is going to be fun. Oh, I swore. Damn it. <laughs> Well, we're off to a great start. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, uh, we saved the best for tonight, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. I had Bill in studio uh, last night for Air Rec. Air Rec Radio. Yes. It was very enjoyable, actually. Oh, my God. I mean, it got it was so wrecked. We wrecked <laughs> the fuck out. I mean, we've had to do some uh, serious editing and re-record and all sorts of shit. <laughs> Well, you know, there was a there there was a beverage problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once again, Air Rock Air Rec got soused. Man, it's got to be a horrible flight sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, soused, baby, soused. I tell you what, man, drinking like a bastard. <laughs> Oh, that was fun though. Conversation was great. Oh, we had great conversation. It was that's uh, that's one of the reasons I wanted to have you on, just because I I know you'd have a good conversation. I know in the in the trifecta there'd be some like, conversation to be had, and maybe we could build a little, uh, you know, cross attention with Air Rack and, and a, a podcast. podcast. Um, Create a little, a little heat, as it were. Yeah, you know, I'm actually thinking of changing my uh, Twitter account. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I'm thinking of changing, you know, because I'm not doing the sports thing. So, I'm thinking, buck I'm thinking buck points might might be going bye bye. But I don't know what if I got to actually cancel it or I can just change yeah. it. I don't know. Yeah. Oh no, you're screwed. You got to get a new one. Yeah, you got you got to totally cancel that one. Yeah, you're totally screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Got to kill that one and get a new one. Ah, oh, that really sucks. Um, yeah, that has a tendency to happen. Yeah, maybe I'll leave it. For um, but we got to, uh, we got too drunk to do a you podcast. You got too drunk. I didn't get too drunk. You got drunk. Too drunk, you I didn't, I, You're right. I got too <laughs> drunk. You just got drunk. And Stacy drank a four pack of stouts. Chocolates. With side whiskey. Yeah. And he ran out of things to drink. <laughs> the rum was still there. He didn't <laughs> want to go back in the house. He's out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> in that time that I was stalling there, I was trying to uh, pull up a bit of audio from the show. Oh, but, from last night. From last night's show. Oh, but the computer sucks the balls. I told you I was having issues with it earlier. Um, it's not that the audacity on this computer always takes. It's what I'm asking this computer to do with what I ask it to do with my podcasting bullshit. Yeah. Is fucking rude. <laughs> it's straight rude to ask this little fucking discount computer yeah, right. to do all the shit that I need to do and process the amount of audio I get, I process on a regularly basis, regular basis. It's going enough, enough. And now, see, oh, we got a load now. <laughs> all right, so just for fun, Bill. Mm. Ready? We are going to pick one minute of audio. Da, 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 da. I'm. This could be anything. Holy crap! You know, I, I, I'm. I'm really not far enough removed to remember most of last night. East Coast, West Coast gangster rap. Ah, now enter the white suburbanite kids. No, wait, 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 wait. Before you get there, we're getting East right Coast, now. West Coast, East Coast, West Coast gangster rap. Now gangster rap is all about status. Symbolism. All right. Now enter the Cybernite white kids who buy all the fucking albums. Mm -hmm. Ding. Ding. Ka ching, 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 ching. What do they want to hear about? Not rising up out of the bitches and hoes in 40s. They don't feel the need to be inspired to be rise out of the ghetto. Yeah, they're not in the ghetto. They want to be in the ghetto. They want to be in the ghetto, living the dangerous lifestyle. But only if they can have a Cadillac. Living right. that thug life, <laughs> right. baby. They want to talk it. They want to go down the street going, oh, yo, my nigga, and all that. But you know what? They got. They, they don't Asian have no ladies? street creds because they're a fucking pumped up, stuck up bitch from Penfield. I also, I, I then suggest to you rock and roll. So I get home, and it's 2 o'clock, getting bad a little after 2. I got the alarm set for 6.15, four hours. Okay, I can handle that. I was up three times in that four hours, and only once did I go to the bathroom. So <laughs> I just... You do you sleep apnea, dude. I'm telling you, you have sleep apnea. The reason why you're waking up is because you're snoring and your stupid fucking soft palate yeah. is closing over your worthless throat and trying to choke you to death. And you wake up and snap out of it in probably a uh, wrenching fashion. Well, I don't know about that. I know I wake up and I'm like, when I wake up, I'm completely awake. I'm, is there I'm like, alert. Yeah, yeah, he's, he, he, well, A, because you never really go to sleep because every hour... <laughs> You wake up because yeah, you right. can't fucking breathe. Yeah. It's because you, it's because you can't fucking breathe. I bet you if you could get a CPAP, dude, I bet you you'd start at least sleeping better. You'd still have to get up to pee. Right. Wow. Well, yeah. I, you know. That comes with age. Yeah. Well, of course. But um, and even for that, you might want to go get your bladder or your prostate checked. Yeah. Well, actually, well, if I got off my goddamn uh, blood pressure medicine... That might help too. Oh yeah, Jeez, but if you need your blood pressure medicine, don't get off your. Well, blood yeah, pressure I know, medicine. I know, but it's a dual-edged sword, man. That shit just—you can't keep water in you, you know. And uh, but I bet you you sleep apnea. Hmm. I bet you that's why you don't sleep worth a shit. Well, yeah. you know what? If I end up getting this uh, health care coverage, uh, 
once Medicaid uh, says I'm denied, uh, I'll be eligible for that other health care coverage, and, uh, you know, maybe they'll uh, actually be able to cover something for me on that. Who knows? <laughs> Just to talk to somebody about it. Hey. Hey. And then if you got a cover machine, well, you know, you figure out how to fucking cover. You know what I mean? You're right. You figure that's an expense. You're right. But hey, good thing you only have to buy one every 10 years. Yeah. Wow. And uh, you, you, you'd you figure it out if it meant sleeping at night. You'd call, you'd start. I, suck- know, I haven't slept in 25 years, so. You'd start sucking dick down the corner. No. If it meant no. a fucking good night's sleep. No. No bullshit. I you know what? No, no. I no fuck uh, you. No. You're a lying. Uh, no. You're a lying uh, sack no. of shit. Shut, shut up. That's very rude. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are trying to make a podcast. Like during a conversation, that's fun. But for a listener, that's got to be annoying as fuck. <laughs> Ass wipe. Ball it's just annoying to you. Ball liquor. <laughs> ball, 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 ball. There you go. Ball liquor. Um. Oh, where was I going before you? Uh, oh, no. Oh, sucking dicks. Hey, <laughs> you're always talking about there it. There we go. <laughs> uh, I defy. I, after 25 years of not sleeping, if you had one night's worth of sleep, full night's worth of sleep, and you woke up, and they looked at you, and you'd be like, in order for you to have that every night from now on, uh, or ever again, <laughs> you'd just suck dicks on the corner to pay for this machine. You'd be like, slurp, 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 gobble, gobble, gobble. I don't know, man. I don't know because I haven't slept, so I don't know. I don't know. I can't even. I can't even. Get, I can't even grasp the concept I would sell of sleeping. My soul. I can't grasp the concept of sleeping for more than three hours straight. I would sell my not so immortal soul to a figure I don't even believe in. Basalt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I'm dying! Here. I just threw one out at you. Calm down. You know, relax. Hey, fucking, I'm, I'm okay. cool. I'm uh, cool. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm fucking cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something's quivering on your face. Over oh, there. there's definitely something quivering on my face, big boy. <laughs> Oh, that, it's that was supposed my to be balls. salty I'm to you, sorry. but it really just made me sound. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Gotta, gotta it was just my this. balls. Don't worry. <laughs> and then my voice squeaks. I got to work on all of this. Here, why don't I crinkle the bottle in the microphone? Oh, yeah. I'm sure the listeners would love that. Here, do you want to drop my lighter? <laughs> no, I don't want to drop your lighter either. I'm sure they love all of that. Especially guys like me and Stace who listen to headphones. <laughs> Good ones. Good ones. <laughs> hey, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. My little Bluetooth headset have good sound quality. They really do. Yeah. And 16 hours of battery life. You nice. cannot you can't beat it. No shit. And they work right off what what do you put them off your phone? Yeah, I Bluetooth attach them to my phone. Yeah. Uh Oh, what was I going to ask you? I had a question for you. What was that question going to be? All right, well, we'll make up another question. Okay. Just I can't remember that question. What? Where are you from, Bill? Where am I from? Where are you from, Bill? Right here, Rochester, New York. Okay, and since we, um, I know podcasts are international because they're internet, uh-huh. but we had to have a tendency to focus on local right? Here because we're part of the ROCpodcast.com uh, family of Rochester-based podcasts. Why don't we be more specific to all the people that we actually know who listen to the show? <laughs> where from? Where in Rochester? Oh, um, well, I was born in Rochester, General. Okay. Uh, First Street. Oh God! Was, Why don't oh, you need a street? Just give me a town. Uh, oh well, I lived uh, my when I was born. My parents lived off on Leroy Street, off of Lake Avenue. Okay. Down uh, near Charlotte. Charlotte. Not all the oh, way okay. down to Charlotte, but near Denise, just before Denise. Don't eat streets. We went towns. All right, we Charlotte. Towns. Charlotte. And, and, then, and then. By way of Charlotte to. To the 10th Ward, Ridgeway, Dewey Avenue area. Okay. To the Barnard area in Greece, Stone Road, Dewey Avenue area. Did a lot of hopping around as a kid, did you? Yeah, and then in still in high school, then back to uh, Mount Ridge Circle, which was like Holy Name area, Bone Steel, Ridge Road, McCall. Okay. Um, 
Why'd you move around so much? Because my mother's an idiot. But, oh, okay. You, you know. I mean, no, I, I, I could I could have a similar fucking story. I mean, yeah, you know, she basically, you know, she's not a very good person. And, you know, when her friendships wear out, that that's time to move. <laughs> I think her feelings are going to be hurt when she listens to this podcast. Yeah, that'll ever happen. <laughs> I'm sure she listens regularly. I, You know, I give my mother, bless her heart. Doesn't have any idea what a podcast is or what I'm making all fun about. Mine either. But at least she likes it on Facebook. Yeah, it, well, she recognizes the names that are my podcast names and goes, "That's important." Life. Mine doesn't even have a Facebook. Well, yeah. Okay. The only thing my mother does on the computer is she, she does have an email. I don't know why, because you know, but she the only thing she does is play casino games. Okay, but how old is your mother? Hmm. 78, 79. My mother's 60. Mm. You see, there's a little age difference there, yeah. pal. Yeah. Yeah, so she's a little hipper. She's a little hipper to this young kid's internet thing. Mm hmm. And the reason why your um, mother has an email address is because it is physically impossible to have utilities without an email address to give them. Since when? It's fucking, that's the way everything works now. Everything needs an email address for you to confirm some information. To prove that you're real. You don't need to have an email ar- address for our genie. Somebody somewhere along, maybe not our genie, some, but somewhere, somewhere along the lines, her insurance company, oh, wow. whatever, somebody, she had to have a fucking email. Probably. So somebody set her up an email. Yeah. Wow. Well, she got it set up when she got Roadrunner or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. She has internet service. Right. So she has an email. Yeah. So you have internet service, you have an email. That's, right. Yeah. You were giving an email of some sort. So, you went from one side of the city to the other because your mother was a flake? Uh, you know, you I... You found schools I mean, the whole I mean, time? Yeah, yes and no. You know, it was because there were three of us. Um, I went to <laughs> kindergarten at 40. I went to grammar school first through... Uh, Six it uh well for those who don't know, uh Rochester numbers of their city schools. Yeah. Yeah. So um, as well as gives them names and uh, yeah, then rem- they didn't even have names. I don't know I don't remember what the name was. Forty might not even have had a name. Might yet. Not have. They, 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 they went might- to forty one, which is the Kodak Park School. Yeah. And then for uh junior high, seventh and eighth grade I went to Sacred Heart private school. Then I went to Aquinas for high school. Meanwhile, my brothers went to Kodak Park and then St. Charles private school for 7th and 8th grade. And then they went to Olympia for high school. And judging by the fact that you jumped from school to school to school and that you uh, make a podcast with me, uh, school wasn't your bag, was it, baby? Not really. Uh, not a, not the best student, were you? No. No? Okay. No. And Did it, you try? Uh, yeah. It, 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 it. Were you too busy getting high? Well, yeah. Oh, there's another poem, baby. Well, I did get high eventually. Did you try or were you too busy getting no, high? No, but I did try. The thing was, you know, back, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 20 years older than you, so back then they didn't know what your problem was. They didn't know what ADHD was and all that other crap. I don't know that they And they wouldn't, you know, I mean... I don't know that they yet do. Well, at least they try to teach students differently now. Now we're looking for people to be different. Yeah, but, but they try to teach them differently, yeah. too. Whereas, you know, I could study all I wanted. As a matter of fact, I had one teacher my uh, junior year who was a history teacher... Actually, junior year, it was poli-sci, political science. And he knew I knew the material, but he knew I was going to fail the test. So he called me, he held me after school one day, and he basically just verbally gave me the test. And, and, and he goes, okay, you're all set. I go, what do you mean? He goes, you passed. He goes, you don't have to come for the exam tomorrow. I go, are you kidding me? He goes, no, nah, I knew you knew the material. I just knew you wouldn't, you weren't going to pass the test if I put you down in the room with a bunch of kids taking a test on paper. I, uh, I was the same but different. I knew all of my information back and forth, forward and back, and I could test my balls off. You give me a test and a little bit of pressure, 
and some people being all fidgety and nervous around me, I will whip some shit out. However, if you expect me to walk out of this room and think one more moment about you or your class, you are sorely mistaken. Yeah. Home what now? Mm-hmm. I had to do what when I leave here? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Zero. No. You had me eight hours Zero. today. We're all done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're done. Our relationship's <laughs> over. 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 And from class to class, and I'm once hate, I leave this class, you, I'm done with you. And I'm still you. hating you for my half hour ride <laughs> home. <laughs> <laughs> Until I get home and get high. Yes. And now I won't care anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is, uh, uh, then that happened for me personally. Well, then it, I found you know, actually. Drugs. I'll be honest. I I started smoking cigarettes. I was. Oh, I started doing drugs. I was twelve. I, I was twelve when I started smoking cigarettes. Thirteen. I was. Phew, you know, four or five packs a week by then. And uh, but I didn't. I didn't smoke my first joint until I was like. Geez, between seventh and eighth grade. Uh, sixteen for drugs, and eighteen for cigarettes. You're fucking ass backwards. Twenty-two, aren't you? twenty-one, twenty-two for beer. Oh, you lie. Drinking. I only got sick one time. I only drank really one. Come on, time. you never drank underage. I a beer here, there. Oh, okay, okay. I never. I See, was not a heavy I, drinker until I was legal. When I was young, I mean, you know, I mean, when I was sixteen, I was getting in three or four bars, okay. Um, and, and you know, it was different back then. Drinking age was eighteen, but uh, oh, the split was probably about sixteen. Yeah, and I just I chose the path and went with it. Once I found Mary Jane. I was I had no interest in beer or anything else. I, the, Everything was about. I was the never. Pot. It was never about beer. But the thing about the, at least in my in in the, in, in my my day, it wasn't the beer; it was the socializing in the clubs and the bars. Oh, see, I uh, we always drank in a barn. Yeah, but uh, we we stopped doing that because we were sneaking our dad's beers when we were thirteen. You know, we we used to do we we, were, we would wait till my buddy's dad was gone because he worked overnights. Yeah, and we'd have parties in the barn. Oh, dude, my, my my best friend growing up, um, while well, during high school, my best friend outside of high school in the neighborhood I lived in was this kid, Jeff. And Jeff's dad was second in command of the Greece Police Department, lieutenant in charge of Knights. Were they corrupt back then, too? Oh, yeah, but it, it was Phelan back then who was the chief. And, uh, yeah, yeah, Scott, his failing son is now like a lieutenant. <laughs> Big surprise. You know, it wasn't bad enough that Phelan was disgraced and his son's still running the show, part of the show. Anyway, but, <laughs> um, but, uh, Jeff, his old man, was, uh, the lieutenant in charge of Knights, Grease Police. Um, and so, <laughs> Every Friday night, we had a beer party, an underage drinking party at his house while he was at work. (laughs) (laughs) There'd be 30 kids fucking all over the house. At 5 in the morning, me and Jeff are running around kicking people out, sending them out the back door with bags of empties. (laughs) Uh, When I was in high school, uh, a kid named Steve showed up, fucking smash drunk, showed up to a high school dance. Hammered, and uh, they called the cops on him because he wouldn't leave. And uh, his father um, not only happened to be uh, the local sheriff, one of the local sheriffs, uh-huh. he happened to be <laughs> working. <laughs> Guess who showed up? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, hauled his ass. Hi, Dad. <laughs> yeah, hauled his ass to the drunk tank. Uh huh. Dropped him in the drunk tank. And when Dad's shift was over, Dad went home. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's perfect. There you go. <laughs> huh, huh. 
honey, <laughs> honey, George didn't come home last night. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, Steve. And Steve's being taught a lesson right now. I mean, it's not like you're worried about him. You know he's going to be fine. They all know you're. Oh, he's a cop's kid. Right. <laughs> he's, he'll be fine. The overnight in the drunk tank, a couple extra hours of that pounding headache without a glass of water yeah, or an aspirin. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of pounding headaches. It's just popular. Did I have one this morning? <laughs> Not pounding, <laughs> but lights were really bright. You know, see, that's the problem, man, because, you know, I don't usually get hangovers. Oh, my God, neither do I. Okay, but, but let me tell you this. I drank in the last three days, I killed a bottle of BV. I finished killing that bottle when I got to air wreck last night, okay? Um, and you know I don't drink whiskey. <laughs> so today, um, my head was fine. Oh, how was your shit? Um, How's your shit been if you don't like whiskey and you've been drinking whiskey? Um. How's that been for you? Not great. That'll loosen your stool right up. Yeah, you up. not really. Woo! But it stinks. Boy, does it stink. Yeah, but there's really not a lot there. Anyway. So I wonder I wonder but, what it was, what it is. But it's this, not the alcohol that does it. It's the active ingredients. No, because you know I can drink a bottle of rum in three days, and I'm fine. The rum, well, the, the only thing rum does to me is it'll give me... Uh, uh, it'll, it'll dehydrate my calf muscles. I'll get leg cramps. Do you um, probably? Uh, I, I'm a firm believer alcohol is alcohol, but but your whiskey, body processes it different. Uh, whiskey is not rum because the, the, it's got the same amount of methanol, 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 methyl which alcohol, is, yeah, which is the alcohol that gets to give you effect. It, they got the same amount in it, and it's the same sh- compound. One, what it is is there's a bunch of other shit that well, makes this drink. You're talking the mash. There's versus there's, the sugar cane. There, there's yeah. There's different ingredients yeah. in this drink. They it, it comes from different sources. So that's where I think the variance is. People say, oh, you know, it's it, you know, whiskey makes me real angry. Well, first off, I think whiskey's it's, synonymous with that. So it kind of. But I'll be honest with up. you. I was in a real foul mood when I was given the bottle. Okay, a, a customer gave me a bottle, um, and I was already in a bad mood. So when I opened that bottle, I was already in a foul mood. And the more I drank, not necessarily the more foul that I get, but, it, you know, my mood wasn't going to improve, put it that way. Um, at least the first day I drank out of it. I, but back to the hangover, um, today, it physically... I wasn't nauseous. I mean, that's not the word for it, but I didn't want to eat. Um, oh, I was starving. I was the exact opposite. I was see, I wasn't day. nauseous, but I didn't want to eat. And I didn't throw I, up or anything. No, I was just I didn't, hungry. No, I didn't feel like I had to throw up, but I just I just didn't feel right. You know, maybe that's what it is, is. I felt hungry because I knew I didn't feel right. So I was like, I must need fuel because I don't feel I, I, powerful. I'll tell you what I did do. I, I went, I ran down the corner and I bought a, a big bottle of orange juice. I chugged half of that down. I felt better after the orange juice. A little vitamin C and your little diet will pep you up a little bit. Maybe. 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 Plus, you know, it's a good, familiar, friendly, comfortable thing. Uh, orange juice, you know it. You love it. You're familiar with it. You've had it. Well, Once or twice. Isn't everybody? I, who, well, maybe not in um, Budapest. How do you know? I I said, maybe. (laughs) Clearly means I don't know. It's not like they're on a different plane. Uh, No, but maybe not in Budapest. I don't know if they have oranges in Budapest. Well, they might have oranges, but it's, you know, global economy. Things are shipped all over the world. I don't know what things are have where, where, when, and how. Well, why not? What was the last time you think a North African, a Northern African, got orange juice? Uh, never. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what people have. I don't know. Why are we even talking about this? Because we're talking. Talk into a microphone. Because we're talking. You don't want to talk about this? I don't want to talk about the... I don't know why we got off on the... They might have orange juice in another... Not have orange juice in other parts <laughs> of the fucking world. 
talking about being you and being hungover is fine. <laughs> talking about orange juice was terrible. Well, I don't know what yeah. the hell we're doing here. It was the cure. You know, do you know what the cure for me was? What? I, when I go to sleep when I'm done with this podcast. <laughs> Because I've tried everything but touch myself. No, don't. But I'm afraid to do that because it'll just be the end of my existence. (laughs) Because the subatomic particles in your hand will accelerate (laughs) jism out of my penis. I think you're too tired for it, actually. (laughs) Oh, I'll know because I'll fall asleep with a heart on. That's how I'll know that I was too tired for it in the morning. <laughs> when, my, when it stuck to my pants. Nice, nice, nice. Because there was, because there was pre. You know, me and Stacey had I talk got a about question for you. All right, what the just fuck? step right on me then. I, I, I'm sorry, it, 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 okay. it, things Go popping ahead. in my head weirdly. Yeah, but you know, it, it work. One of the genres of uh, movies we have is Bollywood. Say that again. Genres. Genres. Genre? How do you say it? If I, I've never heard. I, 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 I'm sure there's some like tomato, tomato there, but I always heard genre. Genre. And you're right. It, I was saying it wrong. I didn't, it, you know. There's probably some tomato, tomato there. Yeah. Any, any, anyway, genres. Um, one of the genres we have is Bollywood. Isn't that uh, Indian? Yes, but I don't. Porn? I don't get it. Bollywood. Um, they have a booming film industry. And I believe it's in the city of Bali, so they call it Bollywood. Oh, okay. <laughs> they have a booming film, the Indian film industry. Like Indians love movies. Yeah, okay. they make a bunches of them. But but I did I, I I you know I was wondering if this was just kind of like a porn thing or I think they're playing off the the they call it that because Americans know Bollywood because they know all those Indian films are from Bollywood. Okay. So then they see the Bollywood porno and they go oh. Mm. That's the Indian porno. Gotcha. Gotcha. I also heard the term Desi, a Desi. with Indian porno. Really? See, yes. I haven't heard that one. Desi's D E S I. I have not Desi's. heard that one. I have a- not heard that a- one. Apparently, it is slang for um, American. A lot, of, a lot of the the Bollywood is a lot of bush. A lot of bush. Uh. Got a lot, a lot of hair going on. Got a lot of forestry. Yeah, got a little... man. You know, I grew up in the 70s. I'm telling you, I don't miss it. <laughs> I like how, again, I'm glad that you asked this Bollywood question. Um, Because it even, even though you stepped on what I was saying, you even added more content to the backing of what I was saying. And it was that me and Stacey discussed that we were going to walk away from dick jokes. A little bit, mm-hmm. and walk away from um, purposely, not purposely, just try to mature it up a little bit. Okay, become a little more serious about ourselves, because mm-hmm. uh, those seem to be both podcasts that we've been enjoying are a little more serious podcasts. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for the last two days, I've done nothing but dick jokes, <laughs> fart jokes, a lot of bush talk. <laughs> The bush going with your strength. Ah, uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was my strength. <laughs> Apparently, well, wait a minute. Maybe it's not your strength. Maybe it's your just a one trick pony. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> maybe the maybe there's only one thing I can do, and I suck at it. Oh my God! <laughs> Terrible. Oh, the revelations are killing them. <laughs> oh. All of a sudden, my life looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you should see him right now, folks. <laughs> He's still got the glazed look in his eyes. Oh, Billy B over here. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> uh, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Yeah, well, because I think I lost you for a minute. Um, you didn't lose me. I lost myself. Ah, I got fucking twisted, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, I'm dead. Uh, you looked dead, fucking man. I can't believe I can't believe you actually made it me. to work today. 
Oh, well, um, I kind of had to. Well, yeah, your boss uh, I there. contemplated calling my boss and telling him <laughs> that I was sick. <laughs> even knowing I was lying. Bastard. And I've been annoyed because he made it. <laughs> <laughs> if you were smart, you would have just crashed there. And that's those were the words that came in. No, I had the old man's vehicle. Oh. <laughs> and those are the words that came into my head when I woke up and said, I got to go. <laughs> and guess who left at noon? Mm. The boss. Mm. <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> yes, he did. You fucking fucker. scaper. You Whoa. fucker. Stace is a <laughs> fucker. That's, yes, he is. <coughs> Excuse me. He's oh. gonna he's gonna love to hear how much he's talked about in this episode. Yes, he is. Because, you know, <laughs> because now like, that we're not doing a sports show, he'll actually listen to our podcast. <laughs> Until he hears how we're all jumping on him for skating out early today. <laughs> what you doing? Have a hangover? <laughs> Man, I'm fucking busted. No, he seemed fine. He, he didn't seem like he was out of control last night. No, he's a drinker of a different caliber, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No question. And he'll tell you. That dude is a drinker of a different caliber. Yeah, I think I, th- I think Stacy and me got a bottle of tequila in our future. <laughs> I believe Stacy said he was scared of tequila. Well, Nikki said she was scared of tequila. I think, I think he, re, 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 I think he recalled a long story about the last time he got drunk with tequila and taking a two-minute nap in the grass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think he's in on the tequila. However, I am. <laughs> Fucking do it. Let's do it. Oh, not tonight. No, I. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, oh. After this ridiculous podcast, I then have. Podcast. I have way more podcast work to do. Oh yeah, because you got go through last night. Oh, Eric's gonna be even late. Eric's gonna be late. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you got everything ironed out for for us now on on on, on your actual uh, uh, downloading and availability? Yeah, everything. Um, other than it, we don't, we're not on ROC podcasts until this episode gets posted. Ah. Um, everything else we're available on everywhere. Cool. Cool. No, I, I mean, remember last time you had a little problem getting oh with the uploaded YouTube or whatever. I don't know what your deal was. No, the problem was getting the the, the Cause you didn't getting you a it. link. The problem with because that because you didn't have it set up in the yeah, it did wasn't attached to the YouTube right, yet. It's right. all that's all good. Yeah, that's what it's I all mean. it's all gravy. Gravy. A, a a podcast is available on the Airwreck Radio uh, YouTube channel. It's available on ericradio.com as of this episode. Mm-hmm. As of this episode, it'll be available on rocpodcast.com. And as of last episode, it was available on iTunes and Stitcher. Stitcher. Yes. Nice. So uh, it is available <coughs> in all the same places that Eric Radio is available. Nice. Yeah. I did have uh, my brother um, did mention the death of uh, Sports Rack. And I was uh, I was pleased. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what brothers are for. <laughs> Just for the fact that he listened. <laughs> Noogies and telling you you suck. No, no, no. No noogies there, man. <laughs> He's fucking stronger than I am. <laughs> My little brother, when we were little. Yes. Okay. He must have been like 110 pounds. He was in high school when he wrestled uh, light, lightweight. Uh, for, put it this way, his senior year he was wrestling like 115, 120. You know, he was small. But he must have been like 15 or 16, and we were fucking around. And, you know, I was bigger. I was stronger. I was getting the best of him. And then I stopped paying attention for about a second. And the fucker had me in a figure four leg lock. <laughs> and you know what? You can't get out of that. Oh. <laughs> no, no. You, you don't get out of that unless you're let out of that. Oh. There's no getting out of it. You hurt my wiener. Oh, man. And that little shit fucking put me in it, man. I had fucking probably 50, 60 pounds on him at the time. And he made me pay with my dignity. He did. So I will make him pay with his flesh. (laughs) 
I will strip his flesh from his bones. Okay. Yeah, or no? No? Yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Well, you know. Okay. Just a suggestion, man. I'm not saying you got to do it. I'm just saying. You know what I like was, the ripping of flesh you know from bones. It would be very popular you know for the what podcast. I was told today. I should get a hobby. Yeah, um, yeah. So should I. I thought this was our hobby. Yeah, until we get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so once uh once I get paid for it, then I'll need a hobby. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because then it'll be work. But exactly. But it's, it's until then, it's a hobby right. that's a lot of work. But don't aren't all hobbies work? Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. That's what I thought. Uh -oh. Um, the different the difference between a hobbies and interests is that hobbies cost money. George Carlin. Hmm. Um, the difference between work and hobbies is that work pays you. Hobbies cost money. It's funny you brought up Carlin. I, I it was actually on YouTube last week and I was watching a a Carlin bit from the Merv Griffin show in 1960 something. And he did this bit about the sergeant in the Indian Army. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you braves, <laughs> uh, you're gonna want you're gonna want to make sure you bring an extra loincloth, okay? <laughs> All you, all you, all you brave braves. <laughs> what? All you fearless braves. That's not what you said. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't understand my double alliteration <laughs> thing. So it was hysterical, man. And he was so young at the time. It was pathetic. But oh god. So, oh, so I had another question for you. What was that? Today I'm at work, and this guy, John Brent, comes walking in. And we call him the jerky man, because usually he brings us beef jerky. <laughs> but today he comes in, and he's talking about bowling. And he's in a league that is... I want beef jerky. Yeah, he makes... Because then I want to go bowling. He makes hot, hot spicy, all, all different kinds. Well, I don't know if he makes it, but he gets it, eh? Fucking find out, man. But uh, sure. Jack, you know Jack. Jack gets it from him all the time. Jackie boy. Jackie boy. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ready? I'm yep. going to eat a nut. You are a nut. <laughs> mm, mm. That's good podcasting. Right yeah, there. good podcasting. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's tasty podcasting right there. I'll tell you what. But uh, he told me he's in a league, and it's 33 weeks. Not 26. 33 which, weeks? 33 weeks. That's a lot of bowling. How can anyone make that kind of commitment? 33 weeks. I mean, most of them I've heard is 26 weeks. And well, even that's ungodly to me. I like how you asked that. And do you know what episode of Air Rec Radio you were on? Huh? Or do you know what episode of Air Rec Radio you were on this week? Mm, 30 something? 36. 36. So. How could anybody make that kind of commitment? Hmm. But it's bowling. <laughs> <laughs> I like bowling. Yeah, but 30, 33 weeks of it, having to go, and yeah, it, 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 that's a lot of commitment. That's uh, three games a piece. That's 99, 999. What is that? Three games a piece. Oh, yeah. Times 33 so games. That's, that's 99 games that you play in a season. Is that all? Yeah, three times. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 99 games you play in a season. So, see, that's not really that ridiculous. N not game-wise, but just the way it's over all the weeks, you know? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I remember when I when I was young, I, was I stopped bowling league. when I was in high school. But, uh -huh, uh -huh. but I, right. I, rem I remember my league was like probably... You know, if it was 26, it was a lot. It was I don't probably think it was closer 26. to 17. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think mine was 18 weeks. Yeah. And, it, 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 and sometimes it got a little tedious. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's why I stopped doing it. Mm-hmm. 
especially when you got to walk to the bowling alley carrying your bowling ball. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. I walked from, well, you know where Don Brothers was? Really, Grandpa? Was it uphill both ways in the snow? <laughs> you know where Don Brothers bowling I, was? Uh, my, that's where my father, my grandfather's <laughs> career was. Okay, well. Don Brothers. <laughs> well, you know where that was? Yeah. I lived at the corner of Avis and Marshall High School. That's a walk. From Marshall to Dom's. That's a long walk. That's a long walk with a 12-pound bowling ball in your hand when you're only 13 years old. Oh. <laughs> My <laughs> bowels are singing. Oh, nice. Nice. Let it, me sing you the song of my... I didn't know they were talented. People. <laughs> oh. So, uh, but, yeah, I, re- I knew that your, your grandfather was a professional bowler, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure was. Four yeah. years and years and years until he got old. Well, you know. That's what happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was prof- he was a part-time professional bowler because he still maintained a job the whole time. Yeah. But that's before professional did, did sports he ever, were did he have, he, So he, he never actually went on the professional bowlers tour. Oh, yeah. Oh, but he it did. Was, but the tour back then was only part-time. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, he's got trophies and shit, all that. All right. Well, he's in the um, PBA Hall of Fame cool. for uh, career whatever excellence uh-huh. I, don't, I don't know what the exact title is you know doing nice. well your whole career mm-hmm. not being a schmuck is basically not being this, a schmuck. you know <laughs> it's it's like the honorable mention title you were good enough i don't know that you might it he, might be he was the Vinny testaverde of bowlers no i don't know that that's true <laughs> uh it might be like some pres- prestigious thing to get a lifetime it might be i don't uh, know uh, i mean uh, i'm sure he's had, i'm sure he's had uh, Numerous 300 games. Oh, he's right? had a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, How many of you have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, now I'd be lucky to break 200. Oh, me too. Uh, it, 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 my best, I was carrying a 230 average, and I my the closest I ever came to a 300 game was two pins. Oh, dude! Uh, two thirty <laughs> average would have been, uh, I that two hundred would have been my tops. Yeah, uh, when I was at my best, two thirty, and that was. And the and two, I no, left. Just I left bowling when I was about seventeen, eighteen. I came back to it for a short period while I was married, around twenty six, twenty seven, and right around then I got back up to about two thirty. But I, but I, I was very erratic. Like I knew guys that you know they knew. Which lanes they were on, which how this place oiled their lanes, how this one didn't, you know. Um, and I can never really throw the cook, you know. My my. Oh hook, no, my I, I didn't have the snap. My grandfather got so frustrated with the fact that I couldn't throw a hook, right? That he taught me how to throw a straight ball. Yeah, yeah, I had to learn <laughs> how to throw a straight ball too. Because, so you know what he taught me was? I mean, I, I eventually got a little hook, but I don't have the snap. You know what he taught me was? <coughs> hmm. Plow it home. Plow it, yeah. yeah. Chuck the fuck. Throw the fuck. I throw a 16-pound ball, yeah. and I throw it like I'm fighting zombies. Uh-huh. I throw that by with the thing. Yeah. And I use a heavy ball because I use I don't have any hook, I, I, so you don't get any power into the pocket. Right. So I just watch like a gorilla fucking yeah. pick it up. I I I tried that for a while when I was in high school, and I couldn't. The sixteen pound was just too much. It's a heavy ball, dude. So I I ended My up I ended up dropping. I ended up using two balls. I ended up using a fourteen and a twelve. Oh, I'd pick up a twelve for a spare. <coughs> yeah, I'd pick up the twelve for the spare, and the fourteen would be my break ball. And, 16 and 12 I did. Yeah, you know, but um, 16, I just, man, by the end of three games, my wrist be falling off with the 16 at, you know, 14 years old. Oh, yeah, at the end of three games, you my know, arm always fell off. Yeah, it was so, fucking done. It was a noodle. The 14 was like breath of fresh air. And it was still heavy enough where I threw it hard enough where it was still heavy enough to do what I needed it to do. That's why I threw the 12 because I was used to throwing the 16. So when I threw the 12, and rocketed down the alley, and it didn't have time to veer off course. Right. I, I, I'd always drop it a little bit. Yeah. Because it was so much lighter. So it'd be I'd be too far into my swing. Right. Before I before it left, and it would drop a little bit too much. Boom. Like a kid. Boom. Where they throw it straight Boom. out, and it falls. Boom. Halfway. Boom. 
boom. <laughs> Everyone looks. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Way down the lane. Boom, boom, pow. Boom, boom. I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> and then it rolls <laughs> ominously and slowly over the holes. Sounds like my fucking tire uh-huh. when the belt's going. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Well... Oh, that was a fun time. Bowling was always a good time. Yeah, you know, the I, kids are starting to like bowling with the bowling parties and all that. Yeah, you know, you know what I find, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't believe the the cost of bowling nowadays. First of all, oh my God, is it expensive? You know, some places three dollars a game. Some places don't even have balls for you to use anymore. I'd be screwed or, because or, I don't have a or, ball anymore. Or you got to sign out a ball. You can't just look for an alley ball. You've got to sign one out. Are you, with my hands, you think you know how easy it is to find an alley ball? It usually takes me ten minutes to find one that I can deal with. Dude, I've searched through the whole fucking every ball that's available at times. You have the same shit hands I do. <coughs> yep. The short, wide, fat <coughs> hands. Yep. The finger, the finger to thumb distance is not long enough. Nope. But the width of your fingers is too much. <laughs> too much. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, I gotta get a ball, but I don't go enough to <laughs> yeah, exactly. manage getting a ball. Yeah, I mean that's the thing, and you know, I, I just, I can't. And let's face it, if you're not in the league, you can't just go on a regular basis. No, it's too expensive. Yeah, exactly. You have to go to the league just because the 50 bucks for the year is, or whatever it is, it is, is much more, more affordable. Yeah, because it, I, I'm sorry, man. $3 for a game. Now they want $3 to rent a pair of shoes if you got to wear a pair of shoes. See, I wonder if places do that. I wonder if bowling only do that. See, we just said you got to meet a league because the package. I wonder if they offer, like, or if they package deals like you got to play the 350 game for three games or whatever it is right if you you know you're seven teenagers that rolling off the street but you don't want to join a league but you could buy a, like a season pass kind of thing where you get a oh. year's worth of l- lanes right one lane for a year for a hundred bucks or whatever and then the value in that is depending on how much you go well if okay. you go every day you're gonna get every cent of your money out of it but even if they sold you a package like, you know, like a coupon book where, you know, you got, uh, you know, if games are $3 a game, you buy a coupon book for $30 yeah. and instead of getting 10 games, you get 15 Or a club card. You're yeah, for 30 yeah. 50 bucks, whatever, you buy a club card and you get 50% off right. games and shoe rentals. Right. Yeah. Uh, something. something for them to think about. Well. Huh? Yeah, we got good ideas for everybody. Yeah, we sure do. Yeah, man. How do we get paid for our ideas? I don't know, but I've noticed this this last couple of months that I am a good idea machine. Oh, I've always felt that I have been. I just don't know how to get paid for it. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Good yeah. idea machinery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey. Um, hey. I was going to ask you a question before the bowling thing. It's called a... No, you don't want that answer. Uh, <laughs> no, Bill. No, no you know, I, I answer. don't want that answer. <laughs> Your name. Bacardi Bill. No, not that one, but I will start with that. Okay. Why is it that literally every one of your names starts with a B? It's a good question. Bacardi Bill. Yes. Bill, do you mind using the last name? Go ahead. So it's attached to the it, Blore. Mm-hmm. And Buck. Mm-hmm. And there's also bomb oh, from, right. from from the past. There there was a group that called me Billy Bomb. Um, the only nickname I ever had that it's all B alliteration. Yeah, the only nickname. Um, my only relationship after my marriage, uh, my girlfriend uh, started out because she, she was a bartender. Uh, and to remember me on my name, she started out by remembering it with what I drank, which was Bacardi, and my name was Bill, so I became Bacardi Bill, which... Arr, I, Bacardi B- Bill. Hey. Arr, you fucking you. Arr, Bacardi Bill, the digital pirate. Ah. Here on your podcast airwaves. Loyal to Bacardi, too. I mean, I even got a tattoo on my hand here. You hear the Bacardi? The Bacardi bat. Potential advertising hey, possibilities. Man. Hey, man, I'm your pirate. Hey, man. I'm your pirate. <laughs> yeah, if you advertise with a, a podcast, not only are you going to get some fine, fine endorsements to 
all of our loyal listeners, but you're going to get two drunk podcasters because <laughs> you can straight pay us <laughs> in rum. rum. We'll Absolutely. take the rum. We'll take the rum. We'll take the rum. <laughs> yes, we will. All right. You know but, what? I hope they thought they were funny and they sent all the the single shotters. Uh huh. Like a case full of single shotters, <laughs> and they thought they were hurting somebody's feelings. Right, 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 right. <laughs> hey, open another one. You know, <laughs> do you know what the problem? You know what hurts my feelings about this? Uh, All the wasted plastic. Yeah, right. <laughs> I could have got this done with one bottle. <laughs> I know they make the bottles of plastic now. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you know why? Wow. They break, they drop all the time. Yeah. You're fumbling them, they're in your pocket, they're in the mini fridge, yeah. they're on the airplane cart, dropping right. all the time. Right, yeah. And yeah. then if you go big, if you go outside of a standard bottle, you know what? You know what? They the, go plastic. You know what the liquor because store Because glass is too expensive. You, you know what the liquor <laughs> store next to Wegmans had? And, the, and the, it was a limited deal. The Chinese liquor store I like? No, the White House. Oh, okay, the Wegmans liquor store. Yeah, um, they had, uh, well, you know how they have half pint bottles of, you know, some liquors like Bacardi. It'll have the pint and uh-huh. the half pint bottle. Yeah, I don't know what the half pint bottle's about, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's somewhere between a cocktail and a tease. I don't know. No, actually, a half pint is like four point five ounces. My flask holds five point five. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, okay so there you go. Huh? Um, but they had... Or my flask only holds three. You got a smaller flask. I got a tiny flask. I need a bigger flask. Hell yeah. <laughs> I need a bigger flask myself. <laughs> but at one point, it stops being a flask. <laughs> it starts being a bottle. Exactly. Now you're just carrying a bottle around with you. And now you have a serious problem with alcohol. Yeah, exactly. But uh, it's slowing you down. That's your problem. You have too much things to carry. But uh, where was I going here now? You got you lost. Oh, uh, we were talking about the alliteration in your name. And then we were talking about bottles. Oh, so, so, so I'm in the liquor store. And I went to buy a, a pint. You know, just keep the flask filled because I was going somewhere. And uh, they had half a half a pint bottles. And they were only $2 a piece. Quarter oh. pint bottle? Yeah. I Give me the $2 quarter now, pints. A pint is seven ninety nine, And they're selling quarter pints for $2. It's the same price. But they're and I didn't need a pint to fill my flask. I only needed two and a half of the quarter pints. I, give me three of the wee ones. Nah. That'll be just fine. <laughs> exactly. I was like, man, they should have these all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Snap it up, bitch. Ah, get me a starving wench and a drumstick. I, I take three of the wee ones and I put them in my pocket and I'll do a little dance. <laughs> you are the brokest, busted ass pirate I've ever you met. Might, by the way. You might be doing a dance. I ain't doing no dance, man. I like my pirate character. I just. I, I thought it was pretty dead. good. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. You, you just got to work on your vocabulary. Expand it a little bit. Yeah, I need a little bit of work on it. I'll buddy. bring in my pirate primer next time. Well, a, a podcast has a bit. We're making a bet. <laughs> Next time you come in, we'll be taking a little time beforehand to do some production. Really? Because we're making like a work. bet. Like uh, work. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I know you have no faith in me. Just like Stacy did. Do, why do you keep saying that? If I had no faith in you, would I be sitting here every fucking week? And then I played him the piece of production I made. He's like, oh, that's pretty good. I know it's pretty fucking good. I never doubted you. You know why I know it's pretty good? Why? I'm fucking awesome. Oh, jeez. Here we go. No? <sighs> yeah, you can you, go ahead. No, I'm good. I'm not go ahead. No, I'm not going to fuck I'm not going to do it for you, so go ahead. Oh, you better <laughs> lick my balls. <laughs> Somebody's going to lick these motherfuckers, and my neck is getting stiff. Yeah. Well. So that's a call to all you single ladies out there. <laughs> Gets to lick it. Yeah, they're 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 lining up now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, wait, they're fighting. Hold that. Calm down, girls. He's got balls big enough for everybody. <laughs> Don't worry, my tiny wiener won't get in the way. <laughs> I avoid my tiny wiener to suck on my giant balls. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the bigger question is, what the fuck is that carbuncle on your balls? <laughs> what the fuck's a carbuncle? <laughs> a postulating festering sore. <laughs> well, I do a podcast with one every week. Well, every other week. Ah. <sighs> familiar, familiar company. Yeah, well. All right, well, I know we were going for longer shows with this, but I'm just dead. I'm yeah. busted. It was a rough beat down days. Fucking, I beard myself right into the ground. Beard yourself right into the ground. Yes. And now it's time for bed. So, so, per usual, talk to a microphone. Say goodnight, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> goodnight, Corey. <laughs> <laughs>